how do you design awesome maps in Studio that'll keep your players engaged? And why can you have two people make the same map and one turns out so much better than the other? Hey there, I'm Endorse Model, and I'm going to show you how you can design better maps in Roblox. I want to share with you my second pillar of the Build for Success methodology for creating awesome maps and being successful as a builder on Roblox. Now, a lot of builders just dive right into making a map because they just know it'll turn out awesome, right? But if that were true, you wouldn't be watching this video. See, it's important to get the design right because if you don't, your map will feel unprofessional and your players will be confused, frustrated, and just disinterested. So how do we solve this? It all starts with your design vision, which consists of four elements. Your lighting, your style, your theme, and your layout. In my previous video on the creative mindset pillar, I talked about how the mood of the game is how players will feel, and the gameplay is what they will do. Well, in the design vision pillar, the lighting and style support the mood and how the players feel, and the theme and layout support the gameplay and what they do. This is very important. So let's start with the lighting. You want it to reflect how you want players to feel. And whether that's bright and cheerful, dark and ominous, or maybe you go for warm and friendly. Whatever you choose, you want your lighting to match how you want your players to feel. Now, in the same way, you want your style to match as well. This could be cartoony with bright and cheerful colors, or gritty with muted ominous colors, or just some nice neutrals with a splash of color here and there to keep things friendly. Same as before, you want the style to reflect how you want your player to feel. And you'll also want to decide the detail of your style. So are you going for more cartoony or low poly, so less detail in your aesthetic? Or are you interested in a more detailed or realistic aesthetic? Now, in the same way that lighting and style support the mood, we also want the theme and the layout to support the gameplay. So the theme or setting is sometimes very easy to determine if your gameplay is centered around a specific event or time period. However, if your game is more round based or isn't based on real life, then the setting should be chosen based on gameplay mechanics and how a setting might feel to the player. For example, if your gameplay is fantasy melee combat, you might opt for a stylized medieval theme since that era has strong connections to melee combat. On the other hand, if you're doing round based FPS gameplay, you might go for more modern industrial or urban settings. If you're finding this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like, and let me know down in the comments which of the four elements you feel is most important and why. And speaking of four elements, the final key element is the layout. Bad layout confuses and frustrates players, so having good layout is key. To start, you want to take a look at the speed of your game. So the more fast paced the gameplay, the smaller the map. And on the other end, if you want slower gameplay, you're going to probably want a larger map. Then you also want to look at the type of gameplay. So the more or less linear the gameplay is, the more or less linear you want your map layout to be. So for example, uh, open world games might be slightly linear with areas of increasing difficulty, but for the most part, they're pretty open and you're free to explore. Roleplay games are similar to this as well. Story games are kind of on the other end of the spectrum where they may have you follow a very specific path as you progress through the game. And then FPS games are somewhere in the middle where you want to provide a few paths so your player has some options about which way they want to go, but all of those paths clearly lead to the same goal. Once you have a general idea of what you want, you should hop into Studio, if you haven't already, and start testing things out. And this will help you refine your design. Have fun with it. Make a few different layouts and see which one is more fun to play on. Maybe build a few test buildings to see how you like your lighting and style, and whether the theme will be a good fit. I do this all the time when I'm experimenting with map design. And don't be afraid to tweak your ideas and experiment a little. 
Once you've got your lighting set up, refined your style and theme, and nailed down your layout, you'll be ready to tackle the third pillar of technical execution, where we get all the map details figured out to really bring your world to life and make it shine. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you know when my video on that third pillar comes out, and let me know down in the comments what you enjoy most about designing maps. Until next time, build on.